a rugged environment hours from capital cities, heavily exposed to the reality that climate change is lowering the level of natural snowfall. And investors can't get enough. Just stock, shortage of stock at the moment. There are some significant developments that have been earmarked. We are seeing more and more demand for these properties, so that's pushing up values. The price of homes in Australia's alpine shires is increasing, bucking the trend of declines in the major capitals. Victorian real estate agent Krista Smith says the industry is riding a boom in the number of people visiting Australia's small number of ski resorts. They've been very good actually. The Alpine has definitely had a resurgence over the last three years. Skiing numbers are up and so is property buying, which has been fantastic. It's probably a little bit surprising that values have risen again in 2019, given the broader housing market conditions, but you're also seeing rents rising. So I think that really does highlight that there is growing demand for housing in those areas. And, and it's not necessarily just people buying investment properties. Industry figures say the fear of having a stranded asset as climate change worsens isn't being raised as an objection by house hunters. Not that I have had. Most people enjoy the mountains, not just for the winter. I mean, winter is a, initially a primary basis why they buy. Then they come up and enjoy it so much they spend a lot of time there over summer. These areas are exposed to climate change as, as, uh, as the, the planet heats up. You know, they're, they're probably going to be less snowfall in these areas, but they're still national parks. There's still a scarcity in those markets. And I think that's really the driving force in these areas. The number of properties changing hands peaked around two years ago and has dipped since. Figures to July suggest this trend will continue in 2019. That's similar across houses, apartments, Victoria and New South Wales. And the tight market has caused prices and rents to rise. Moving the numbers? Numbers as in carloads and busloads of visitors. Many resorts will surpass their previous records for visitors this year. They've been wooing groups who've never been exposed to the snow, such as newly arrived immigrants, to grow the pool of skiers and snowboarders. It's been working. We hold their hand from the first cup of coffee in the morning to their up pre drink in the afternoon, and um, by the end of the day, they're, they're confidently skiing down our beginner terrain here. You can't ignore the impact of climate change. Modelling from the CSIRO predicts average seasons will become anywhere between 20 to 55 days shorter in the next 30 years. In the worst case modelling, it would leave just a month of skiing by 2050. Resorts say better management and snowmaking is extending seasons, even as natural falls get lower. Reaching out to new demographics to get more people to come to Australia's alpine areas has helped boost investment. Now, one of Australia's largest mountain groups has been bought by the biggest international player around. Two of Victoria's largest resorts, Hotham and False Creek, have been snapped up by Vale Resorts, which is listed on the New York Stock Exchange. The company purchased Perisher in New South Wales in 2015, part of a plan to deal with climate change by operating a global suite of resorts spanning hemispheres, seasons and conditions. Vale's uh, acquisition strategy is absolutely a, a key component of their climate change mitigation strategy and that is to provide skiing uh, here in the southern hemisphere, also um, in Japan, in North America and in Canada. The vote of confidence in the local market has hit real estate, with more owners holding on to their properties for longer. With finite space for development, that's pumping prices. And it's a limited market too, the resorts are their size, there's not the new land blocks that are available, so you exist with what stock you have in the village. And now with Vale Resorts buying, especially at Hotham and Falls Creek, a lot of people are holding their stock to see what's going to happen in the next few years. With record crowds and new international investment, it's a surprisingly positive time for Australia's alpine industries. Meaning more people looking to stay as climate change hits places of fragile beauty.